Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, find the area of the region bounded by the curve y square is equal to 4x and the line x is equal to 3. Now we know that the area A of the region bounded by the curve y is equal to fx x-axis and the lines x is equal to a and x is equal to b is given by a is equal to integral from a to b y dx and this is again equal to integral from a to b f of x dx. So this is a key idea behind our question. We will take the help of this key idea to solve the above question. So let's start the solution. Let us first identify the region whose area we have to find. Now, y square is equal to 4x is a parabola with vertex at the origin and symmetrical about x-axis and x is equal to 3 is a line parallel to y-axis. So, we have to find so, the given curve represented by the equation y square is equal to 4x is a parabola with vertex at the origin and symmetrical about x-axis. Now we have to find the area of this shaded region and the shaded region is bounded by the curve. Y square is equal to 4x x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 and is symmetrical about x axis. Therefore, the area of the shaded region is equal to 2 into area of the shaded region in the first quadrant now by taking vertical strips of height y and width dx, the area of the shaded region 
in the first quadrant is integral from 0 to 3 by dx. Therefore, the total area of the shaded region A is equal to twice integral from 0 to 3 y dx. Now we have y square is equal to 4x. This implies y is equal to plus minus 2 under root of x. Therefore, area is equal to twice integral from 0 to 3. Now, we will consider only the positive sign as we have to consider the area in the first quadrant. So, it is 2 under root of x dx. And this is equal to 4 into x raised to power 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 limits are from 0 to 3. And this is equal to 4 into 2 over 3 into 3 raised to power 3 by 2 minus 0 raised to power 3 by 2 which is 0. And this is equal to 8 over 3 into 3 raised to power 3 by 2. And this is again equal to 8 into 3 raised to power 3 by 2 minus 1. And this is again equal to 8 into 3 raised to power 1 by 2. And this is equal to 8 under root of 3. Hence the required area is 8 under root of 3. So the answer for the above question is 8 under root of 3. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and take care.